You know, the story of the shul is really a story of a combination of personal connections that have been made from one person to another, while at the same time standing for something and standing for a standard of behavior and standing for uh, growth in connection to God and observance. And the S-Strikers, more than anybody else I can think of, epitomize that spirit. The Estreichers continuously inspire me, all the time. I would describe the Estreichers with one word, Ahava, love. I see it all the time, Rabbi Estreicher and Mrs. Estreicher to their students and to their family. It's something we see constantly. My family was very fortunate to spend a few years living across the street from the Estreicher family and we considered it a real blessing that we could look outside our window and check in on what was going on. We would sometimes whether they knew it or not, compare who Seder was going later. Um, I always knew if I needed to borrow something, I could go on over. I don't remember a time in my life where I didn't know the Estreichers. Um, they taught my oldest brother, who was, who was a teenager when I was born, and taught my, all of my older brothers, and I'm the youngest of five, so I think he was a, uh, a figure in my life ever since, as long as I can remember. The first time I met Rabbi E, I knew that he had an amazing reputation because all of the graduates constantly rave about him and everyone loves going to his houses for meals and everything, for Shabbos and everything. Um, he makes people so much more spiritual and religious, so I just couldn't help but feel his spiritual connection to Hashem. Rabbi E is more than a mentor to me. He's an amazing, he's my inspiration, he's what I want to be as a Jew. He inspires me to be the Jew that I want to be. I remember years ago, I was speaking to my brother. We were talking, he lives in Lakewood, New Jersey, and he told me that he bumped into somebody who had spent a day or two in Atlanta. He said he couldn't remember his name, but he said he, he was a guest in his house and the fellow was such a tzaddik. I told my brother, I don't have to know who it was, it's got to be Rabbi Estreicher. Nobody else is known as the tzaddik in Atlanta. Maura Bluma and Rabbi Estreicher's home was famous when we were moving here to Atlanta for being open and having everybody in Yeshiva Atlanta and being the best Mora. And I am so lucky to have met Maura Bluma and Rabbi Estreicher and see it firsthand how their home is always open and guests galore. And she taught so many of my children and the love that she gave to them and teaching them it was just so special for my family. I don't think I've ever heard Bluma or Rabbi E say no to anybody on anything, whether it be education, whether it be uh, hospitality, whether just being there for people. Uh, they're giving people through and through. And uh, they've been models to not only tens, but hundreds, maybe even thousands of students and people around the world in the way that they conducted their lives and the way they were inspiring to others. So I met the uh, Rabbi Estreicher when I was a freshman in high school. I just came from the Epstein School. I went to his house quite often for different, you know, different Jewish events. And over the years, I was just with them a lot. And um, you know, when, you, when you're with someone so much, you learn from what they do and how they act, and it, it impacts your life in a big way. And without that, I don't, I wouldn't, I don't think I would be the, who I am today in terms of you know, observance and in terms of you know, love of Yiddishkeit and, and family and everything like that. Luma was definitely our mentor. She showed us the ropes and how to be a good preschool teacher. You get up, you jump up, you dance, you sing, you don't tire for a minute, which actually tired us out, but yeah. never tired Bluma out. When she's talking to the children, she's getting down on her knees, talking at their level, being so loving and so caring. And we continue to watch Bluma and see how she is as a Mora in the preschool. And we just learn from her every single day that we're here. Absolutely. I think that having her as someone to look up to and show us the ropes definitely influenced the kind of teachers that we are today. And just the way she is with the children, the way she speaks to them, there's no one like Maura Bluma, and we are just, we love her. We're blessed to have her. Yes. Rabbi E's been uh, and is a mentor, a teacher, a best friend. Um, he's kind of been the jack of all trades to me. 
When my dad was an, he was an immigrant from Russia in 1979, and he knew nothing about Judaism. And Rabbi E just made such an impact on him. He was so understanding. He taught him the first time my dad knew anything about Judaism. Rabbi, it was Rabbi E who taught him the Shema. The Estrechers are most known for their infectious smile. They have a warmth. They have a love. They have a love of every Jew, every Jewish child. And when you're around the Estreichers, you just want to be part of that. You want to be part of their love, of their warmth, their love of Judaism, and their love of people. The Estreichers have impacted my life significantly, particularly Rabbi Estreicher. Um, when I was younger, um, he was my Rebbe at Yeshiva. He was very uh, kind and uh, understanding and not judgmental and an incredibly great Rebbe. Uh, and teacher. I find uh, the Estrechers to be the most inspirational people I could possibly imagine. Um, when I was uh, dating my wife, I remember telling her that when I, in the end, I would like to be remembered something like Rabbi Estrecher. Um, it is not an, uh, not an overstatement at all to say that everything that I have accomplished uh, a cruise back to the Estrechers. The Estrechers are always there for their students through every part of your life. They at make the effort to attend every simcha that they can attend, every life cycle event they can attend, my grandparents' funerals, my, my, my kids' bris, my ki Shalom Zachers, anything that, any lifestyle event that you have in your life, the Estrechers are guaranteed to always be there. I feel that I owe Rabbi Estrecher and his wife everything to who I have become today, just from the way Rabbi Estreicher so patiently taught um, me and my other classmates who were all on totally different levels, the patience, the love, the non-judgmental way he just be reacted in every situation. Rabbi E has uh, impacted me as far as uh, helping me decide where to go after high school. Uh, I was planning on going to college right after, but as everyone knows, he always says, Israel, Israel. And he helped me, helped my classmates, find the right place for us to go for uh, after, after high school was over. And that year had a huge impact on my life. I'm lucky enough that I get to work with Mara Bluma every day and she's just a very special person and every time I go to her I tell her all my personal stories because she has such good advice for me and she's always there to listen. And I really love her and I'm happy that I get to see her on a daily basis. How many people got their connection to God, a loving connection with God, from the fact that there was love in the Estreicher home expressed over a Shabbos table. Rabbi E is so much more than just a teacher I had. Like when I'm having his class, it's not just like, okay, I'm forced to be here. This is what's required. I look forward to his class every day because he's just so inspirational and inspires me to do better in the world and to be a better Jew. Rabbi E is, is the sweetest man who everybody adores. He has, everyone, he has everyone smiling, everyone's excited to come to Rabbi E's class. You don't ever hear how frustrated anybody is about, about going to Rabbi E's or, uh, or frustrated they are about homework or tests. Everything is always great with Rabbi E. The, probably the, the greatest thing that I can convey is the fact that uh, the, the aspect we'll call Hineni. It's what I refer to as the Hineni aspect. You know, uh, you, you, there is no, my father and my mother don't have any um, of their own wants, if you will. They kind of just, everybody they may meet and interact with, there's a certain understanding that we need every uh, Jew, in, in the Jew in the Jewish people, and each one of them contributes. And uh, so therefore, every story that I can give over would be really ultimately them um, trying to understand and, and look into what it is the needs of the individual that was uh, facing them or that they were interacting with and be able to supply those needs for that individual. My wife and I try Ezra Hashem to bring others closer to Hashem, to inspire as many people as we can to learn Torah, to do mitzvos. Um, there have been many people who have come through our home 
many people in the community throughout the years who have shared Shabbos with us and Yantav with us and have become part of our home, especially many, many students who have come through our home and become part of our family and uh, have gone on to uh, great things and, 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 and uh, accomplished uh, in Torah and mitzvos and, and chesed. I just wanted to say that, uh, you know, certainly an important part of our, uh, our important part of our growth and uh, which enabled us really to accomplish so many, so much of we, that we have accomplished is uh, the Beth Jacob uh, Shul, the, the Rabbi Feld, both Rabbi Feldman, Rabbi Emanuel Feldman, Rabbi Ilan Feldman, and so many other people in this community. It's a community which really lends itself to, to growth, inspires growth, and encourages people to find Hashem. And I think because we've been in this community so many years, we have been able to accomplish so much. It wasn't only us, but it was because we were, so, we were part of this beautiful and tremendous community.